All right, we seem to be having uh, some technical difficulties with, with the quality of the sound coming through. As soon as that is fixed, we'll uh, join Zizi Kodwa, National Spokesperson of the African National Congress, with the Deputy Secretary, outgoing Deputy <laughs> Secretary General. <laughs> get used Jessica to these. Duarte. And uh, it takes us back to Mangaung, actually, where she was appointed <laughs> an elected, an, an unopposed, and uh, a lot of people didn't see that coming, and it was almost, almost like a last minute. One wonders if she will have a position that she'll be able to take up in this next administration. Um, and uh, perhaps, uh, Prof, your, your thoughts on that? Uh, we didn't see her getting a seat, but <laughs> she's sat at the table at the end of Mangaung. Uh, perhaps, uh, what do you see now? Well, I mean, she, she has worked very hard behind the scenes. I mean, her position is the nature of uh, the Deputy uh, General Secretary's position is that you, you work pretty much behind the scenes as, except for, for, for the specific functions that, that you are responsible for. Uh, she's a very articulate uh, person uh, who uh, has been with the movement uh, for, for as long as she has lived. And I, I, think, I think the ANC will continue to derive um, uh, benefit in, 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 in making use of her. It's difficult to say in what capacity um, and it also depends if um, you know she too can survive some of the allegations that have emerged uh, related to herself and um, some links to the and, and so on. You know so uh, but I don't think that um, she has lost any of the 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 depth and experience that the ANC needs uh, going forward, mm. uh, and and one hopes that whoever wins, that people like her will continue to 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 find uh, space for yeah, contribution. Very firmly behind Dr. Nkosazana and Atlamini mm. Yes, she is. Very few people are not firmly behind anyone at the moment. <laughs> so you can't hold that against yes. her. She 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 is. I mean, up to the top. Everyone is behind someone. So. All right. I'm going to uh, just uh, update because we are having problems with our sound uh, with uh, regard to the press conference that's currently taking place where uh, Jesse Duarte is updating the media. But uh, as I'm reading it coming through, uh, what, uh, what uh, the DSG is actually saying is that they are delayed. And the big delay is, is primarily due to the fact of uh, the court judgments. They're saying that decided PEC of the KZN and Free State won't be voting delegates. And 35 branches of the Northwest also disqualified. And this has been the key reason as a massive delay with regard to the start of the voting process. I'm hearing a sound in my ear. I'm wondering if we have uh, got it up and going now. But uh, if uh, we can just try again, let's try go live to that press conference and see if we can take it. They were disqualified by the verification process. We found they came, they appealed, found all the documentation they were able to provide. And they will be. You know, it's not just about um, loving your aid, it's about actually checking very thoroughly who the credentials are and what they look like. And that's what we will do. There was no inflation whatsoever uh, of the numbers. I really honestly sorry I have to say that I've been reading this every day and I don't know what I'm doing. However, let me pass that no. In fact, Instead of having the component of voting delegates, which would have been over 5,000, you took branch delegates, included your PCs, your leads, you would have been over 5,000. We now stand at approximately 4,700. So it's lower than the number that should have been there to vote. Um, I don't know. I don't know what else uh, from it, Zizi. That's, that's what the uh, verification is about. Okay. The point that I do want to make to you is that it's not unusual to delay credentials. We do it for the credibility of the process so that, as you well know, um, this is the one point with, that people use to have court interdicts and court cases and injunctions. And we've been extremely careful. Uh, not to open any possibility that would take us in that direction. 
So what, number one, stay true to the branch mandated daily bit, and that's what we wanted to prove, and we have, uh, to 90% of the case. The other percentage, of course, is what the ports did. Uh, to compel us to remove branch delegates and uh, we're living with that and I can say to you that the uh, credentials have been adopted. Okay. Okay. So uh, the rest of the program for will be as follows. We're still in a closed session now where we're adopting the rules of, of the conference first. You need credentials to do that. The second issue is there are proposals for changes to the ANC's constitution, and we needed credentials for that. So those are the two matters that are currently uh, being debated and discussed. Thereafter, um, we will open at some point for an open session where nominations for the top six positions will be um, put forward. If there are changes, for instance, if there is an acceptance of an expanded top, top six, then those would be added in. And uh, beyond that, um, our independent election commission will go and develop a ballot paper, and we hope to start voting at some point uh, later this afternoon, hopefully, uh, and have those results uh, as, as it now stands, possibly by tomorrow morning. We don't rush results. Um, we'd like them to do a thorough and proper job. Um, to get our voters to the voting station, we've uh, approximated uh, about 200 people per round. And they, that means for 4,700 people, it could take a long time. And that's what we, we have to do. So the program will, will go that way, and then followed by um, the organizational report of the Secretary General. Uh, hopefully we can squeeze that in, even if it is late into the night. Uh, we've already had messages of support. We will have messages of support by our alliance partners tomorrow as well. And also another input on organizational renewal. And, and then we'll have a go into commission. And so the work of conference, we're hoping we can be done on Wednesday night. Uh, Comrade Zizi. We have no plan beyond uh, the 20th of this month. Thank you very much, DSG. Members of the media, this was a special arrangement to update you, not a scheduled briefing for questions. The SG, the DSG is needed back to the plenary for other issues. Thank you very much, DSG, for the update. Thank you. Well, we've been having these uh, unscheduled updates uh, from the, uh, yesterday it was uh, the uh, Secretary General, uh, today the Deputy Secretary General, but all important updates because of the unforeseen, uh, perhaps slightly predictable um, delays themselves. So the media is starting to walk out and they've all just heard, as you have, uh, that the credentials process is complete. Those delegates that uh, are supposed to vote have been uh, tabulated and uh, they'll get an opportunity uh, uh, maybe later yeah, today indeed. or tomorrow uh, depending on how the organizational report treasurer general's report goes and the rest of the business today but the business of conference truly now begins it does and uh, no uh, extension of it it'll be done and dusted by wednesday night that's uh, that's the word that we've heard and basically what they're saying is once the ballot papers are printing the voting gets underway and uh, they that of course uh, will be the uh, sj's uh, sg's organizational report as well uh, they also uh, confirmed that there was no inflation of any of the numbers of delegates um uh, duat is saying that she does not know where the media is getting these claims from so no inflated numbers and that's uh, pretty much so the numbers that have been given, the credentials have been adopted, and the voting process can now proceed. And uh, those that are going to be voted for are the president, the deputy president of the ANC. There's also that voting that will take place for the uh, secretary general, that position of the secretary general that should be taking place, and, uh, and the other top six positions. So that's the national chairperson, secretary general, and the treasury general also taking place. Right. Now, we're now joined... Uh